All right, Paul, um, a 5 0 win here this evening against Armagh City in the, the League Cup. You want to talk, give us your thoughts on the game? Well, look, I think first and foremost, um, Johnny was good to get a win, probably good to get a clean sheet, probably even better. Okay, there's a couple of chances that they had, but I think um, in the first half, probably something similar to the middle of the Cup and some of the games that we've played in the league where we've had some great chances and we haven't scored. And I think tonight, when when we came out in the second half, we we look uh, we, uh, we took those chances. Ushin got himself a hat trick. Where maybe in other games he's been unlucky, and you know what I think as well too. Like you're at home, um, and Armour were good at times. Some good players, but you have to be trying to um, to beat him. Like to be fair, we didn't expect to beat him at the start, but you have to be beat him. You need to beat him, and you want to beat him. And the main thing is that we're in the next round. Yeah. Um, there was a, a start tonight for young Zach Khan yeah. and, and he marked it with a goal. That must be, you know, a, of a delight to you. Yeah, but I think also too, Johnny. We, 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 in fairness to us too, we've had a few injuries and we're looking at the team and saying, well, we can't start to play him, him or him because you know Stephen Taggart. We're not sure about him at the minute whether he'll make it. But I think Tamello has showed in the few games that he's played, he's been really good. Um, you also have Leo Donnellan who is struggling as well, and you're looking then at Paddy and Mark Russell, and you're saying to yourself and Jason, look, it might be an opportunity to give players because we've a lot of games coming up and I think any of the players that came in um, Zach as well too I mean they all done well Jonah Mitchell um, did well so we, you try to get a balanced team because one thing you don't want to do is be disrespectful or making sure your opposition don't think you're being disrespectful should I say and by feeling a weakened team they say but I think in general we played really well at times some great football and some great goals as well and I mean Zach finished off the game with a great strike all eyes in on, on to Saturday yeah. uh, against Lorne. We were, we were had to get a break last week uh, from our, our fixtures against the top six, but it yeah. wasn't to be with the with the postponement. So it's our sixth game in the league and the, the, the sixth game <laughs> against the top six from last season. Um, all eyes, as I say, on to Saturday against Yeah, Lorne. it should look another tough game, Johnny. I mean, there's no doubt about it. But I think, like for us, and as I said this before, I mean, it's difficult. Most of the teams we're playing against, as I said, managers and players, that they're three and four, maybe five and six years together. I mean, this is a new group of players that we're trying to, as I said, integrate into the league. Not easy. And again, we're at home. And again, the way we've played the other, probably the last few weeks as well, against Cliftonville, now, very good um, the second half particularly, but just didn't get that break. Maybe could have got a draw off Cliftonville. So you're hoping that we come out again on Saturday and that we can perform again and try and get a something on the board um, as you say it's six it's a top team that a full time team and it's not easy when you're playing during the week and then playing teams full time time teams because they can recover as well where we've got some players obviously that have to go to work and that but look all in all it was, like, it was good to, to, um, that we're in the next round um, and that's the main thing no problem thank you Paul